This is Jupiter Today for the 16th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant 4, heading east. Ganymede spends most of the day in quadrant 2, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant 4, heading east. At 1.13 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove. That's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter and its orbit. And that distance is 664,970.6 kilometers. At 1.44 UTC, EO goes through a perijove. The closest distance it'll be to Jupiter and its orbit. And that's 420,011.6 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO is transiting Jupiter going to be moving into quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant 4, heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. At 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 3, heading west, and Europa has successfully moved behind Jupiter, and is now in quadrant 1, heading east. At 1325 UTC, Ganymede goes through its perijove, and that's at a distance of 1,067,768.7 kilometers. And at 18 hours UTC, EO has moved through its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. And Ganymede is transiting. Jupiter. At 2248 UTC, EO goes through its apogee, its furthest distance from Jupiter, and that's a distance of 423,531.2 kilometers. As you can see, EO's apogee is very, very near Europa's Perijove. In fact, the perijove of Europa and Io are on the opposite sides, almost exactly the opposite sides of Jupiter. And that goes for their perijoves and apogees as well. They're on opposite sides of Jupiter. There are 10 Jupiter satellite events today. 432 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 446, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 649 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 703, the shadow of EO egresses. At 812 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. And at 1132, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. At 1609 UTC, Ganymede begins its transit of Jupiter. And at 1709, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. And at 1947 UTC, the transit of Ganymede ends. And at 2047, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. There are six satellite mutual events today. There's actually three pairs the first goes from 723 to 726 UTC when EO occults Europa it's a 3.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.26 magnitudes and these two moons are only 11.46 arc seconds from Jupiter and the second one in the first pair goes from 743 UTC to 746 UTC, and that's when EO eclipses Europa. It's a 2.8 minute event with a very shallow magnitude flux drop of 0.089 magnitudes. 
And Europa is only 6.2 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Io and Europa are 12.63 arc seconds apart. And looking on the Google Earth map, you can see the visibility of this event. This point is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of the event. And North America will be able to see this very easily. Maybe some of South America. You folks over in Hawaii will be able to see it too. See both of these events. So the second pair of events. The first one goes from 1315 to 1321 UTC. And that's when Ganymede occults Europa. It's a 5.6 minute event with a fairly steep magnitude flux drop of 0.465 magnitudes and it's a fair distance from Jupiter 35.64 arc seconds and the second event in this pair goes from 1357 to 1403 UTC when Ganymede eclipses Europa and that's a 5.9 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.252 magnitudes and Europa is 46.27 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Ganymede and Europa are 20.63 arc seconds apart. And the visibility for this pair of events is a lot of East Asia, the Western Pacific. Looks like all of Australia will be able to see it. And the third pair of events first one goes from 2318 to 2324 and that's when Ganymede occults Io. That's a 5.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.451 magnitudes and this event takes place 43.64 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the second one in this third pair goes from 2352 to 2359 UTC and that's when Ganymede is going to eclipse Io. That's a 7.2 minute event with another fairly deep magnitude flux drop of 0.567 magnitudes. Io is 33.35 arc seconds from Jupiter and Ganymede and Io are separated by 18.8 .8 arc seconds. Visibility for this event is all of Europe and all of Africa and maybe some of South America. Okay, the ribbons for today. These are just temporal connections between the four moons of Jupiter. So here are the same orbits as you saw before of Io and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto. And I've just connected the same times together to make for some interesting patterns which to me look like uh, twisted ribbons. So this is Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede Io and Callisto and then there's Europa and Ganymede and Europa and Callisto and finally Ganymede and Callisto and then I combine them all and colorize them. And today we get that. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Io is just passing in front of Ganymede there. Over a 24-hour period, Jupiter rotates about twice. There's Ganymede going to be moving between the Sun and Jupiter. From... We'll be able to see that event at the times that I specified before.
The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, the first at 0 hours 45 minutes, the second at 10.41, and the third at 20.37 UTC. There was one new image to show off. And there was no new radio data, and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 15 minutes, 50.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 54 minutes, 38.3 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 169.396 degrees, and that's 1.134 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 1.955 degrees, and that's 0 0.207 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 652,403,844 kilometers, and that's 433,443 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 18,060.13 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,946.8 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun, 798,116,025 kilometers, and that's 45,955 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,914.79 kilometers per hour, moving away from one another. And that's 2.09 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 126.34 degrees, CM2, 70.85 degrees, CM3, 341.83 degrees. The time of this recording is zero hours 34 minutes on the 16th of February 2015. So please subscribe. And thank you for subscribing. You can send your comments and suggestions and questions and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.